everyone, it's Tiffany here. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys what I think that are you need for your first year baby vice, things that are necessities, and then I'm gonna tell you guys things that are extras that you don't really need. Um, this is just my opinion. This is how this is. These are things that I've used um, my first year of having Jaden. So I hope this helps a lot of new moms or people that are getting ready for um, babies or whatever. And yeah, so I have my little list here, and it's in no particular order. I just have things that I just think I need or whatever so I'm gonna go off this list and first I'm gonna tell you guys things that I think you need so the first thing that I have on my list is any type of motion chair now you don't need more than one chair I, I definitely think that you need at least one now we had um, a little bouncer I don't know if you guys you might have seen in like my videos um, random vlogs of Jaden in a little bouncer and um, it vibrates so it like bounces back and forth and then it there's a little button that turns on that makes it vibrate he had that and then he had like a little swing it wasn't like one of those big ones it was just a little one that you, you just sit on the ground and it just swings and it played music now I prefer the one the swing just because um, you know when I you know had to do homework or watch wanted to watch TV or something and I just put him in it and you know it just rocked him to sleep like I it rocked on its own I didn't have to push him or anything and it played music and he was just he would just fall asleep in it so I liked that I think that you definitely need something because you know if you're cooking or watching TV or on the phone or whatever I don't know you definitely you know want to put your baby down in something and be able to watch him so if your baby prefers a bouncer that um, um, vibrates you know get one of those things and I think they have different kind of chairs thing that that you can choose from so definitely get one of those next thing that I have on my list is a high chair now um, you obviously don't need a high chair until your baby starts eating um, solid foods you know you don't need it right away so maybe about what I think five or six months I think was when he started eating solid foods I don't know but whenever your baby starts eating solid food um, definitely get a, ch a, a high chair because it's gonna be useful you're gonna be using it for a while like Jaden's one and he's still you know he's still in it he uh, we put him in there for dinner and lunch whatever give him put food on his little tray and he just picks it up and eats it so you know definitely I definitely think that you're gonna need a high chair all right the next thing that you're gonna need is a what a Stan Ben Walker Okay, I think this is what, I can't even read, I don't even know what this is on here. But I'm thinking that it's a, um, a stand-up walker, the little thing that when Jaden started walking, he um, held on to and he walked with it. Now, that thing that I had, it was like a three-stage thing, like one, um, you can lay them down and they could, um, like, put their feet up on it and play with little buttons or whatever. And then when they sit up, they can um, use it for, you know, the same re the same things but just sitting up and then the other one is when they start walking they can hold on to it and they push it um, for guidance and use it to walk I think that that definitely helped Jaden walk because it kind of forced him to walk because it had wheels on it um, but you just have to be careful and watch him because a lot of times he would run into things so I think that you should get that if you want um, you know to help your child with with balance and everything so that's another thing on my list that I think that you should get um, next thing um, I have on here is a is a a bouncer. I already said that. Okay, so that's the same thing. But a bobby pillow. Um, you guys know the little round pillows that go like around your waist. I think that's good, especially if you're nursing. I didn't get to nurse for that long because I didn't produce enough milk. But um, if you are, I think that it, it really helps because, like, say the pillow's right here, and you can lay your baby on it, and you know you, you can just breastfeed. Or, you know, if you're just sitting down on the floor on your bed or whatever, you could just put the pillow up and set your baby on there and voila, he's relaxed and sitting up. So I think the body pillow is definitely um, very useful. The next thing that I have is a camera. Um, now, if your child's going to sleep in your room, then I guess you don't need one. But if you plan on putting your baby in um, their own room, you, I definitely suggest you get one so that you can, you know, watch them when they're sleeping. We have... Um, I don't know what brand it is, but the, the little camera goes in the baby's room, um, and then the little screen, the monitor, baby screen or whatever goes in your room so you can see them. Um, and we got it for, from Toys R Us for like, what, $99, I think. They have more expensive ones, but ours was um, only like $100. So, uh, next thing that I have on my list is a bathtub. Um, I think this is very useful because when, when you have a newborn, you can't really put them in the bathtub because the bathtub is just way too big. 
Um, you can't really put them in, in the sink just because that's just, you shouldn't, I don't know. <laughs> but the bathtub is very useful because the bathtub can go inside the sink and then you can wash them with the, your little spray wash. Or, um, and then when they get bigger, you can put them, but put the bathtub in your bigger bathtub and give them a bath like that. And then the little, um, like, netting thing that holds them, you can take that out when their feet get too long and then they can get in the, the regular bathtub thing. Um, I think, I don't know, I don't think I have any videos of Jaden in the bathtub, but yeah, it's, it's definitely helpful. You can get that from Walmart for like $14, I believe. So. Um, next thing that I have on my list is a diaper genie. This is definitely definitely useful because you don't want um, poopy diapers in your regular trash can because it, you know, it could stink really bad. And the diaper genie really does help, um, you know, take the smell away because it has like a closed top and um, the diapers like go down in the in the bottom so I think that's definitely useful uh, we have like two or three of them or something so yeah get one of those next thing that I have on my list is a bottle holder um, this is useful because it it you put all of your bottles on a little rack and it you know dries them after you're done washing them it's better than putting them in um, your regular dishwasher uh, your regular dish rack where they're like all falling all over the place where you know you can just put them on there and just grab it when you need it, whatever. So I think that's definitely definitely something that you need. Um, next thing is a vaporizer or steamer. Get one of these because when your child gets sick, sick or like stuffy and that's bound to happen, that thing, man, works miracles. Jaden was just sick the other day and we put that little thing in there and he slept all through the night because um, he was congested and that thing, you know, it helps him breathe. So I, I wanted to sleep in there too because I was a little bit sick and um, yeah, but get one of those because it, it really does help. Uh, next thing, I have two more things. I have um, the activity play mat. Um, now this thing, the, you know the little the little gym, it's like a mat and then it has like some like little little toys hanging down. Get that because I think that, you know, it helps, um, you know, when they're looking up at it, it ha it's like really colorful. So, you know, it helps them like with their like vision, I guess. And then they can, they can grab on it and, you know, pull themselves up on it. And if you don't want to um, do that, you could put, take the toy thing down and have the mat there and then put them on their belly for tummy time. And then that helps them, you know, push up and help them with their neck and everything. So I think that's something that you should also get. And the last thing that I have on here is the music, um, sound machine. This is really good because um, when we put him in, in his crib, it would help because it has like a little um, night light and it had like little, what is it? I don't know, little things that go up on the ceiling. So it, it played like little pictures and stuff on the ceiling with the night light and then it played sounds and it had different sounds. It had heartbeat, it had um, different lullabies, it had like the ocean and I think that, that really helps him, you know, fall asleep because it was very, um, you know made him fall asleep. <laughs> so I think that's definitely um, something that you also need. Now I'm not, say, I'm not saying the things that's, 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 what's, what am I trying to say? That you already know that you need, like a stroller, bottles and stuff like that. You already know that you need, need that, that stuff. But this stuff um, is people that, stuff that people don't really tell you to get. So these are things that I think you need. Now I'm going to tell you things that are just extras that you don't really, really need. All right, um, what not to buy, <laughs> that's what I put on my list. Um, more than one of those chairs, like I said, you only need one. You don't need, you don't need a swinger and a bouncer. Now, if you have a big old house and you have, you know, 50 million rooms, go ahead, get all the chairs you want to because, you know, you can take your baby in each room. You don't have to take the chair around. So, yeah, do that if you, if you need to. Next one is the baby chest, the chest carrier. Now, that thing, it, I had one and I didn't really need it because, um, when I used it, Jaden didn't like to be in my back. And when I put him on, his, on my front, he was way too heavy for me. So that just, it just, it just didn't work. It just was not something. If you want to walk around with your child on your back or your stomach, then go ahead, be my guest. But my child is way too heavy to be doing all that. I would rather put him in a stroller, okay? Next thing is, is the bumbo chair. It's cute, we had one, but I don't think it's, an, it's a necessity. Like when you're feeding your baby, when they're old enough to eat and you put them in the chair, um, you know, you have to, you have to feed the, the baby on the floor because it's not safe to put it on a chair. You can't put it on the couch or anything. So you're on the floor feeding your child and you know, it's just, well, you have to bend over to feed them or it, I don't know. It just wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't something that I don't think, it, I don't think you need it. It's cute. But if, but if you're trying to save money, don't get it. Um, and then when, when my child got <laughs> old enough to, to get out of the chair, he learned how to get out of it. So it's, 
no, it's it's not it's not something you need. The next thing is a walker chair, the little walker. Um, Jaden had one, but he only used it for a little bit. Um, I don't think it's I don't think you need it because you know if you have a little the little stand up toy that I was talking about that walks, I think that's better. If you have a lot of space in your house, then go ahead get the walker. But I don't think it's really something that you really need. He only used it maybe like two or three times. Um, a playpen. Um, I don't think you need a playpen unless you have a huge house, like I said, and you just have you have to get a million things done. Maybe your child will stay in there, but my Jaden, he didn't like he didn't like being in there. He would cry. He maybe he would get in there maybe like two or three times the, the whole time that I had it to take naps. And when he was awake, he just would pull on the thing. He didn't he didn't like to be in there. So I wouldn't suggest getting one of those. I would say get maybe like a safety gate. So that you could put them in a room or something that you're in and they can't get out. But they have more, you know, freedom to play around in the room. I don't think that the, um, that a playpen is necessary. Unless you have, like, you're going to somebody's house or something and you don't have anything for them to sleep in. Then get, then get one. Um, bottle warmers. I don't, we did fine without a bottle warmer. We warmed our, our water up in a cup or something and we put the bottle in there and it worked easy. Say it does money. We didn't, we didn't have a bottle warmer. Um, a, a wipe warmer, I don't think that's something you need either. Um, do you better use the, 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 the wipes that come right out of the, the box. So go ahead and use that. I don't think that's, it's really, you don't really need your wipes to be warm. Wipe their butt with the, with the wipes that come right out of the box. Um, next one is an umbrella stroller. You don't need this until they're obviously sitting up. Please don't put your, your newborn in, a, in an umbrella stroller with their neck all crazy and stuff so I don't that's not something that you need right away um, you could wait until they're one years old you can use your regular stroller um, just put your baby in that until they're about one maybe maybe nine nine to twelve months next last thing is a hooded towel now those are cute and everything but um, Jaden would have done just fine with a regular towel he had a hooded towel it was cute but I could have just went and grabbed a regular towel wrapped it around him and voila dried them off and that's it so yeah these are the that's all i have on my list um i hope this kind of helped you guys out a little bit if you guys have any questions or anything let me know in the comments below and i'll see you guys in my next video love you bye